Welcome to Around the Peninsula. I'm Katusa Private Wan Ho Chong. People sometimes stay indoors on windy and chilly days, but if you do come off base, you have a chance to experience Korean traditional winter games. Specialist Derek Ramey dove into the snow to find out how families are enjoying the winter season. War Memorial Museum and it's the Seoul Snow Festival. This is the biggest festival in downtown Seoul and as you can see with the kids, everybody here is having a great time. I heard about this place through my friend and thought it would be a good place to let my children enjoy playing in the snow garden. I think I made the right decision because overall it's a good chance to let them just have fun without any interference. <laughs> All right, so this snow also doubles as the snowball fighting area. And there's some kids out here. I think they've issued a challenge to me, so I'm going to go out there. I'm going to meet the challenge. I don't know if they're Bush League or they're hardcore players. We're about to find out. <laughs> My favorite activities here are sledding, snow fighting, and making the igloo. I really want to come here again, and if I do, I will try out other activities. It's a good opportunity for the foreigners and members in the Yongsan garrison to have a chance to experience some of the games Koreans used to play when they were young. So if you're a soldier on Yongsan, especially if you have kids, try to get out here and see some of these events. They're a lot of fun for you. They're a lot of fun for the kids. This is going to be going on through the beginning of February, but there's tons of stuff out there in the city to see. Specialist Derek Ramey. <laughs> Yongsan, Korea. Korean War Memorial Museum also hosts special exhibitions out front throughout the year. Most people work a 9 to 5 schedule with little excitement, but on Camp Casey, there is a job that requires launching rockets for training. Specialist Pedro Amador reports. It's an icy cold morning and soldiers train on the multiple launch rocket system for their section certifications that includes crew drills, uploads and downloads, and fire missions, all to prepare for the live fire exercise. The crew chief of the 55,000-pound M270A1 MLRS from the 1st Battalion, 38th Field Artillery Regiment, sees the importance of this training and takes it personally. I think it's necessary. You know, you can always train in the in motor pool or other places, but I think in a field environment is where you get the most training, the best training, and you can really start to work together as a crew. For Sergeant Mays, a veteran of five years, being the crew chief is a huge responsibility and communication with his crew is key in order for him to accomplish his mission. It's very important, especially while we're in the launcher, it's very important that we communicate. Going through crew drills, that helps us mesh together more. The crew gunner is confident in Staff Sergeant Mays. My chief, he knows most of this, he knows everything in our launcher. Um, he trains me, he trained me and my driver well. The more we train, the better we are at our job. It is clear to see the communication between the New Jersey native and Mace. Well, I picked this job because it was combat arms. We were in combat arms and you know, you, it's a very fulfilling job. Specialist Pedro Amador, Camp Casey, Korea. The M270s were delivered to the U.S. Army in 1983. Just like your car's tires need to be changed when they are worn, so does a F-16 fighter jet. Staff Sergeant Chris Bevins takes us to Kunsan's flight line to meet the people responsible for that important job. At Kunsan Air Base, F-16 fighter jets take off to the sky every day, but without the wheel and tire shop to keep the mission rolling, they'd never leave the ground. Uh, we do a a call every morning to the flight line and they uh, let us know how many they have that are bad and we'll bring them good ones and swap them out and when we get back to the shop we uh, take the t old tire skin off and uh, inspect the wheel itself make sure that's still good and if it's good we'll clean it up and put a new tire on it and send it back out to the flight line. The airmen working here are actually crew chiefs who typically launch jets. 
but working in this shop gives them an opportunity to learn something different. Being on the jet is a good time just because you're, you work right directly with the aircraft and the air crew, but being able to learn a different aspect of a crew chief job is also nice. You don't get um, being the back shop aspect here. You don't get the direct, I fixed that jet, now it's flying. But it's good to know because you hear them all day flying. And it's nice to know what we do is helping them land safely. And just like the pilots rely on the crew chiefs to keep their jets operating safely, these airmen rely on each other during their remote tour. I think a crew chief in general is a really uh, tight-knit community. So, um, like, I've only known these people, uh, the guys in my shop for six months now I've been here, and we're all good friends. And I just, it's a good, good career field. Maintenance is a good world to be in to make good friends. I think here it helps to be close with everybody because nobody has their family here. So the brotherlyhood aspect of it comes into play when nobody has a family here, so everybody's going through the same thing and everybody understands. Definitely my second family. Staff Sergeant Chris Bevins, Kunsan Air Base, Korea. When senior airman Fester leaves the wheel and tire shop after his tour in Kunsan, he will likely learn another aspect of being a crew chief. Small machines can have a big impact on a mission. Senior Airman Rebecca Stout introduces us to airmen at Kunsan getting planes off the ground, one laptop at a time. Senior Airman Dante Panacacci is a client systems technician with the 8th Communications Squadron at Kunsan Air Base. He fixes computers, and sometimes he helps get jets in the air. Open that. Small computers like this one may not look important, but they hold information essential to Kunsan's mission. It's a technical order that the mechanic has to look at in order to fix the jet that they are working on. You have to have a TO open next to you on the right page for what you are doing for your job in order to actually work on an aircraft. If the technicians do not have a computer, they cannot work on an aircraft. While the obvious action happens on the flight line, Senior Airman Panacachi and other calm airmen are behind the scenes, making sure these vital computers are ready to go. Really enjoyable meeting all the people who work behind the scenes. We are just another piece of that, helping them get what they need to get the pilots in the planes and off the ground. Not too bad for a guy in the back room fixing computers. Senior Airman Rebecca Stout, Kunsan Air Base, Korea. Fixing these E2 laptops is just one task that Senior Airman Panakachi and his fellow 8th Communication Squadron Airmen accomplish every day. A child's motor and social skills evolve more during their daycare and preschool years. Specialist Marquita Gibson shows us how children in Area 4 progress in their education by using their imaginations. Saturday mornings can consist of sitting in pajamas and watching cartoons with your children. Child Youth and School Services provides a creative time away from TV for Area 4 families at their Super Saturday Legos event. It helps their motor and their social skills. I mean, anything they're using with their hands, whether it's scissors, putting together Lego blocks, it helps them. Hand-eye coordination as well, I think. Got us out of the house on a cold Saturday morning out to play with Legos and to have fun and make a mess in somebody else's house. The event was not only a time for families to use their imaginations. Children and their parents were given the opportunity to work together to build colorful masterpieces. I really enjoy it because me and my dad rarely get to spend our free time together. It helps the kid think about problem solving, like, oh, maybe if this piece goes here, this piece can't go here, so I'll use this piece later. Around the world, Lego stores design free events such as this one for families to play, make, and share. In the States, they have a Lowe's Building Grow where they give out free wood kits with the parents and you go and you put together all the blocks and it kind of reminded me of that where you get to get out together with your kids and you get to build something. Specialist Marquita Gibson, Camp Walker, Korea. Over 30 people in the Area 4 community attended the Super Saturday Legos event. That was your Around the Peninsula for Thursday, January 23rd. From all of us at AFN, enjoy your evening. <laughs>